Phil, a ruthless 5-0 win today against Solihull. You must be delighted with that. Obviously very pleased. Um, you know, Solihull are a good side and um, you, know, you saw in the early exchanges you know, they've got the ability to keep the ball and, and they can be dangerous. Um, and we're a bit rusty, I felt, first 25 minutes. The final ball was over hit or just not quite right. But we've got quite a few players who haven't played for, for a while and I thought you could see that. But we grew into the game and got better as the game went on and, and some of the pressing in the second half was, was, was top class. And, and obviously the, the ruthless edge uh, in front of goal um, was excellent. So really pleased uh, with the win. And I think at Christmas time when you make sacrifices when other people are out and about and having a drink or eating too much and as, as players you've got to look after yourself it's important that you make that count with with a victory and, and we've done that today Solihull are a side that often can come to places and make life very difficult especially at times in the first half what do you think it was in the second half that managed to unlock their defense well obviously the goal helped before half time um we give it gives a lift and i just think second half we just got got the pressing right um we're a little bit in between at times in the first half but i just think we grew into the game as a team individuals and, and collectively um and like i said we'd had quite a few players um you know moles um aaron um um, obviously Ben who had missed a lot of training over the last few weeks with, with uh, injury problems so um, yeah it just took us a while to, to get into our real rhythm um, but once we did I thought we were excellent. You mentioned Paul there another hat-trick for him some real strikers finishes in there as well. Yeah and no, I'm very pleased um, there was another one which looks as if it could have been over the line as well um, yeah so, so, so pleased, pleased for Moles yeah it's, it's a great hat-trick for him. And a 10th league goal for Aaron Hayden as well a phenomenal record for a centre-back. Yeah, pleased for Azza uh, to get that goal and it's uh, another example of him that he makes uh, strikers runs in, in the box. You, know, you saw the Boreham Wood away um, where he arrived in, in open play and get the goal and today was a little bit similar. Um, he has got that instinct and um, yeah, it's great when your centre-backs are chipping in with goals. And at the other end of the pitch, Mark Howe's got his 10th clean sheet in the National League as well. A, a fantastic record that shows the threat in both boxes. Yeah, I think... For, for, for Mark and the back three, when, when the, the game is comfortable as it was in the second period, it is all about concentration and make sure you have that pride in, in doing the right things right to the end of the game. And I think they showed that today. Um, you know, uh, toes and, and Tunners and, and Aaron and Mark you know, looked like a very professional outfit, um, didn't take risks if it wasn't needed to, cleared it when it had to be cleared and passed it when it was on to pass. And you know, good footballers make good decisions and I felt they did that today. And looking across the rest of the last year, our final game uh, this season, 2022, a phenomenal way to end it. Very pleased you know, to, to finish the calendar year. And um, yeah, no, this, um, we're in a good run of form and uh, great today, you know, with another bumper crowd for us. A lot of people will be back in the area visiting families and might not have seen the team much. So it's important that we send our supporters home happy today. And um, yeah, we, we move on to Solihull away in, uh, in a few days time. Thank you, Phil. Congratulations. Thank you.